what is up bros bears quantum mommies and everything in between as always this is patrick full primal power top 50 power lifter of all time and we're coming back at you with another vlogging video today i mean i'm gonna say that it's a little bit of a weird posting because we're changing up our weekly schedule right so last week my coach got at me because I'm struggling to center myself on the bar when setting up for squats. And uh, it's, uh, I need to be at the gym at a different time on a different day in order to consistently have reliable people there because I was training pretty much in an empty gym or with people I wouldn't necessarily be comfortable with asking for help from. But um, we already had our breakfast, and uh, we're on a little bit of a buddy walk. He's been a pain in my tuchus, so he's already lost his treat privileges for barking at other dogs. So he's got to know that he can't bark at other dogs. So today is Sunday, um, June 30th, I think. So we are going in, and we're doing basically... Our regular Monday, uh, except for last week's Monday, but he'll, where it's a bodybuilding day because I'm uh, technically unemployed right now, uh, but I do Uber Eats just to keep the uh, uh, ends meeting, making ends meet. What, what's that phrase? But um, so my Mondays aren't really that's rigid as hey this is a monday or hey this is a a weekend day um but i i also technically work seven days a week uh because i've got other projects such as writing and audiobook narration that i do um so working about at least 10 hours a day every day 70 hours a week anyways so um it's a bodybuilding style day today where we've got some movements to kind of do a little bit of training foreplay for the rest of the week. Prime the body to uh, almost like warming up the engines for the rest of the week. And then our Monday is what used to be our Tuesday. And our Tuesday is what used to be a Wednesday. So on and so forth. So going through with that, today is our Monday, the start of the week, which is a Sunday. Should be a weird posting day. But we've, uh, we've got a couple videos backlogged because I haven't had time to edit them yet. And I'm going to be editing, editing them later today, get them out to you guys. So stay tuned as I bring you guys along for uh, a nice day of training foreplay. And here's Buddy. Buddy, are you going to be happy boy? No. He's grumpy because he lost his treats privileges. Back. Bodybuilding day coming at you, boys. We are starting off with some reverse grip lat pull downs, really emphasizing getting that stretch going in the biceps and the uh, the lats. Uh, this day is, is basically like a, a rehab day, but also like foreplay for the rest of the week going on. And uh, so we're really trying to emphasize that stretch at the top and uh, we're holding it at the bottom for a quick second, trying to really build that mind muscle connection and uh, really feel that. Uh, tension in the muscle groups going on and uh, we recently moved up in weight recently the uh, the the resistance weight going on and um, so it's a little bit more difficult than it has been and this is a really slow really arduous accessory movement but we made it through three by whatever that was and then we moved on to the um, head supported rear delt flies trying to get a stretch through the delts uh, the rear delts and kind of prehab rehab that as well in this bodybuilding day and i really hate setting up for this and it's, it's hard to set your feet and uh have it at the right distance so you're not hitting your legs 
as well as not leaning too far into the bench in front of you, getting that head support going, and not really relying on any sort of muscle group outside of the ones that you're supposed to be using for this accessory movement. And it was sets of 20, which is such a high number, not because it's hard, but because it's annoying to do, and it takes so long, and you're like, I want to get to the rest of this training day. But it's like it's like doing doing foreplay. You don't want to do it, but you got to do it. And then we superset it with um, <clears throat> close grip, uh, not close grip, but uh, regular hex push-ups. And the dumbbell puts your hands up a little higher, so we're trying to get a little bit more um, range of motion at the bottom, and that's going to stretch out our pecs for the rest of the week and put us in a good position. And we really tried to emphasize the upwards the the, the latter half of this movement and get a good uh, compression through there and um, and uh, or, or uh, yeah compression I guess and then we moved on to the um, I guess it's the coolest part of this whole day where it's um, incline dumbbell press and it's I, I really ugh, it's a gross superset because you superset a movement with itself so we've got um, four sets of 20 plus six. And the six, after we finish these 20, where we're really trying to bust them out, is really slow eccentric and uh, not really caring about how fast the concentric is, but really controlling the weight and feeling that uh, stretch at the bottom as we touch at the outside of the shoulders and, and really stretch out the, the upper pecs and triceps and shoulders going on there. And then afterwards, we go into chest-supported zero acceleration dumb uh seesaw dumbbell rows and this this is another one um that's just really annoying because i've got to i've got to use the hooks here um uh, because well, it's it's programmed to have straps or hooks or whatever and it's it's <clears throat> it's another one of those where it's 20 but since we're seesawing it it's actually 40 reps that we're we're busting out here because we're doing 20 per side and uh that just takes longer and longer and longer and, and your face is being buried into the bench and it's just really annoying to do because you're like, where do I put my face? Because you don't want to put your face face down because that could put your, your neck in a comp compromising position. And it's just uncomfortable to have your face in a, in a bench that you know that no one's ever washed in the entirety of the, the bench's lifetime. But busting these out, getting a good stretch in the uh, lats, the, the middle of the back, um, and then uh, moving on to the next accessory movement, which is once I stand up here, dumbbell curls. Now I've been talking with my, my buddy, Patrick Horvath for a little bit. And, um, he suggested having the, uh, uh, dumbbells supinated, your hands supinated, which means your palms up the entire time that you're doing these, because I've always been looking for a better way to get a stretch at the bottom of these. And it's, it's when you have a neutral grip on your, your hands, you don't really get that really nice and juicy neutral grip going on in your biceps so you don't really your, your, your accessory movements are stretching under a load so at the bottom of your movement where where it's really important to get that big stretch it's all about trying to find a new spot to get that new stretch so we reduced the weight five pounds this week and um this is sets of 20 with 30 seconds rest with these lower weights and um i was really really biting the pillow because these were going in raw on me th uh this week and I was getting a really good bicep pump. And then we, um, the next movement is dumbbell curls. I, I didn't do the full supination like I did with the other ones because they're heavier. And uh, really trying to get a good supination. I guess we could reduce the weight on these because I, I'm really struggling with it. But um, yeah. And um, finish off the day with a nice pump check. And bodybuilding day means we're going to get the best pump we're going to get all week. And that, that bicep pump, that forearm pump, um, you probably can't see it that well on this, but we've got some pretty good vascularity following through uh, a lot better than uh, what, what we had back when we were this weight before the American Pro and uh, before we did that cut before the Ghost Clash. But i um, really happy with how this training day went and uh, really excited to see how the, uh, the rest of this week goes going forward because... Why do I always look way more bald than I actually am in these? Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Patrick. I can't hear you. Aye, aye, Patrick. Oh, we got dinner. We got the bowl 
and we've got about eight and a half ounces of pasta uh 220 grams of 93.7 beef and 300 and about 60 milliliters or grams whatever it's grams of um prego traditional pasta sauce why are you not focusing show buddy 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 no quiet quiet no buddy no so he's mad because this cat did not want to let him sniff her aggressively and she swatted him and hissed at him it's his own but we also got cheese on this meal we've got garlic bread which somehow i convinced my nutritionist to put on my plan i don't know how that happened and then she said see what happens when you communicate with me cool and then in the shaker cup we've got it's calorie it's it's like five to ten calorie skittles flavor packets that you put in water put put it in like 16.9 ounces of of water and it tastes really good i haven't tried the grape yet i got the grape in there right now but the green mm, delicious the strawberry mm, delicious the orange mm, delicious now trending would would, would dictate that it's going to be delicious but we'll see and uh yes it is later at night than usual you can you can see it's already dark outside because we had a six hour panic attack and pushed everything back a little bit um because your boy is stressed out and falling behind on a lot of things i currently have four videos to edit at this point i usually edit them the day of now i'm a little overwhelmed so bear with me while i get caught up i'm also trying a new instagram strategy hopefully that works out and it's not even lifting related but oh buddy found a bone he's gonna be happy now i'm gonna eat this meal i'm gonna watch some one piece hopefully get some some material edited and out for you boys because it's been too long and also i feel like it's a monday but it's not a monday it's a sunday so i'm a little thrown off there too but i'm gonna i'm gonna eat this meal i'm gonna i'm gonna get going on a lot of things and hopefully make up some ground today and tomorrow so that I'm not as overwhelmed going forwards. And that is all she wrote for today, which is pretty bad because that means I missed two meals today. Um, and I'm going for a squat PR tomorrow. So stay tuned to see how that goes uh, in the next episode. Like, comment, subscribe. You know what I mean. I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs>